Hey, what's up? This is your girl, Diamond. So, you know how if a girl thinks she's pregnant, she can just go to the corner store and buy her a pregnancy test and piss on the stick and it'll give her a line or two lines and it'll be yes or no if you're pregnant. <laughs> you know how that's possible. That is possible. You can go to the store and buy one now. Really cheap, like a couple of dollars, and you will know if you're knocked up or not. Well, they have just they have just come out with a HIV test like that and the FDA approved it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Isn't that like great kind of in a sense? <laughs> so, imagine that becoming a normal thing. Like you're sitting about to have a one night stand and you or your your person that you're about to have sex with say, oh, well, let's test each other. I got one for me and one for you. Let's see what you got going on. <laughs> That's wild. Or you're at home and you just want to test yourself because you had some unsafe practices a few months ago or... um. You just want to know. And you can go to CVS or Walgreens or Walmart or wherever. Pick up a test and test yourself. And you find out if you are positive or negative. Now, I think that is a great idea. But there are some negatives to tests like this. Everyone knows that if you have a pregnancy test like this, sometimes they give you false positives. They tell you false results. They tell you that you are pregnant, but you're really not. Then you have some that you don't you take too early and you they don't and it doesn't know you're pregnant so it says you're not when you are. And I think the possibility of something happening like that with this is the same exact possibility. There could be some false results in this type of situation. Somebody could be home and test herself just for the fun of it. And it tells them that they are positive And they kill themselves. <laughs> because, you know, some people take this as a death sentence. And they're like, oh no, I can't deal with this. <laughs> or, um, or they're in that situation where they're about to mess around with somebody. And it gives them the false positive at that moment. Then you got to explain to this person that... Oh, I was about to wear you out <laughs> or whatever. You know, I think it's some really negative situations that can come from this. But I think it also is some positive sides. You know, people can get tested in the privacy of their own home without um, going through the embarrassment of going to their doctor or, or worrying about if their doctor is confidential or going to a free health clinic and getting tested and worrying about if those people are going to keep it private and blah, 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 those kind of stuff. So they can go home, they can take it and know their results and know what risk they're taking having unprotected self on their own, unprotected sex on their own. You know, I think it's some positives and some neg negatives to this. And I think it's really, you know, really interesting to me. I think it's a, a great idea. So, you know, I got to put a link in the bottom so you guys can check out um, CNN doing a little piece on it. And tell me what y'all think. Tell me, tell me some positive and negatives or some scenarios that you can see happening with this. Make sure you all hit me up on Twitter and Instagram because I'm always on Instagram and um, my Twitter is connected to my phone. So I definitely get all my messages and I reply to whoever, you know, hits me up. So hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. I'm trying to get more into other social media networks and that type of deal. So I need more people come and join me and entertain my boring life. <laughs> Not boring, but okay. And the links are in the bottom. This is your girl Diamond. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Wow, HIV home testing. <laughs>